Hello my friends, welcome back to Reverse Starcraft 1. We are going to be heading into Zerg Campaign Mission 6, The Dark Templar, which is not to be confused with Zerg Campaign Mission 8, The Dark Templar. <laughs> I, I appreciate that I am not the only one who makes this uh, mistake. So this mission is called The Dark Templar and it doesn't actually feature any Dark Templar in it. This mission is called Eye for an Eye, and it is the one where there's the Dark Templar trying to escape. And I have made that mistake so many times. <laughs> it just makes me feel good that I'm not the only one. So let's get into the real Dark Templar that doesn't actually involve any in-game Dark Templar. Protoss Commander, it was folly of you to come here, for I am Kerrigan, and I am Queen of the Zerg. I know of you well, O oh Queen of the Zerg, for we have met before. I am Tassadar of the Templar. I remember your selfless exploits, defending humanity from the Zerg. Unfortunate it is to see that one who was once so honorable and full of life would succumb to the twisted wiles of the Overmind. Do not presume to judge me, Templar. You'll find my powers to be more than a match for yours. In fact, I sense that your vaunted power has diminished since last we met. Mayhap, O oh Queen. Or is it only that I need not flaunt my power in such an infantile test of will? Foolish Templar, prepare your defenses. I will come for you soon. I have always been a fan of how Tassadar talks to Kerrigan like she's a kid that got a new toy. I sense something strange about this Templar. All right, that's the basic normal stuff. Okay, we got a base here. We got a base here. We have a gas geyser right here. We have a lot of bases to begin with, or rather a lot of minerals. This just goes on. Oh, <laughs> gas geyser over there too. Cool. Well, let's see. Let's get things up and at them really quick. I'm just kind of thinking about what tools we have available. And once again, I think I said this before, but when you're playing Protoss against Zerg in pre-Brood War, air units are basically illegal. Uh, we, we've seen before in this mod that the enemy is actually very, very good at countering what you're doing. They have map hacks and they understand unit counters very well, which means that if we go carriers and we don't have Corsairs to protect them, they're going to get annihilated by the enemy just transitioning into 400,000 Scourge. And that's not a thing that I'm super interested in. Is that another gas geyser? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a lot of gas. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, it's really obnoxious to deal with. And that means that we have to go for the consistent, the reliable, the ground Protoss. Uh, Templar are very, very, very good against Zerg. And I think that we're going to make a decent number of them. Maybe, is there a robo up here? Yeah, there's a robo up here. We get a couple reavers. Uh, I know about that robo making reavers from the other side of this experience. And I think that we could teach Kerrigan a thing or two about them. Let's see, this is so many minerals. I don't think... Uh, I mean, maybe we'll have to expand to this base ever. I don't really like the robo there, actually. Let's, uh... Do we have one in our base? I don't think we do. I think we're gonna just toss a robo somewhere like right here and make our reavers out of that. I don't think we're gonna make too many reavers because they're very hard to control in big, big, big engagements, but in this early stage, they are so strong. Oh, we have all the reaver upgrades, nice. In the early stages against Zerg, they are monsters. And I am willing to use the power of the monster. So yeah, we're gonna be able to make reavers really quick. Uh, do we have a Templar Archives? We do not. Do we have a... Nope, we do not have a Citadel either. So we can just build that right there. And then we're gonna try to correct the gas mining a little bit. I just want them to not go up as much as possible. There's... <laughs> it, it takes a lot of science to get proper mining in this game. And we gotta get this gas geyser too, but I feel like we're a little bit shy on minerals right now. It's gonna take a lot of... It's so confusing to figure out what upgrades we have. <laughs> what are we getting right now? Okay, we have one armor, one shield, no attack. We don't have Dragoon range yet, but we do have both the Reaver upgrades. <laughs> uh... 
We should probably get all of our guys together too. Get them just chilling out right up there. There's a base up here as well. I think for this one, we're just going to drop... Oh, it's a double ramp, huh? I think we want cannons up here. So that I can run up here and defend if need be. And then we're going to have our army down here and maybe the... Maybe the Reavers over here. There's a lot of entrances to this base. I'm not entirely sure where the enemy wants to attack from. Let's get a couple cannons here as well. And then maybe a shield battery for the Reaver. We can't queue things up. I don't know why I tried that. Oh, uh, that's fine. That's a lot of stuff, though. Um, yeah, it's not going to work. Let's just pull this guy back, bring all these guys over here, get our scarabs going, and I do appreciate that Reavers on ramps exist. <laughs> I do appreciate that they attacked one side with uh, a million billion guys. Oh, oh, that's Kerrigan. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Reaver makes scarabs. Oh, gosh. She's cloaked. This is this is a four-minute Kerrigan. What is happening? Well, she's got 4,000 HP. All right, uh, Scarabs, go. Just keep her next to the cannon so that she's detected and not attacking the cannon. She's gone, I think, or she's cloaked. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, she's gone. She's all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was that was a heck of an early attack. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we have money now, so we can keep building some Reavers. Put them over here. And then try to get our gateways going. Ooh, this area looks pretty good for gateways. Yeah. I uh, can't build anything down there, unfortunately. I think, I think I'm going to... Oh, hello. Now nah, we're fine on that side. I think we're going to get rid of this so I can put some gateways around here as well. And then just kind of have a V where I can do, 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 do to produce. Uh, we got to get our Templar archives. I have a lot of money in the bank right now. That's just how it's going to go at the beginning stages. We already have Zealot legs, which is great. Then we can grab. Uh, maybe I can fit this better. Maybe I can't. Well, that's a shame. Gateways are so big. <laughs> then we will build the Sideways U, also known as the Sea. Because we're pirates. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to get you. Oh, we still don't have our Templar archives. I really would like that. Uh, I don't want to block my stuff. I have a feeling this is going to get a bunch of stuck dragoons. I don't like that. You're going to build some Templar, and that'll help hold this area. They'll also be able to move over here if need be. Uh, saturation is looking great at this point. So now we can just start building stuff. Uh, I'll build an extra pylon here just in case. And I actually have no idea how many gateways we need. I think we're going to have some Dragoons, but for the most part, we're going to focus on a very nice Zealot Archon High Templar composition. That's kind of what you want to do against Zerg. Uh, the Dragoon is really best against the Lurker, and there's no Lurkers, I assume. Uh, it's been kind of... Most of the missions have not had any Brood War stuff, and then after that, there were a couple Brood War medics for some reason, and then it stopped that. So we're going to get a couple uh, Dragoons to start with, and then that's going to be it in the Dragoon count. We're going to have like 8 to 10 of them, and that's it. Keep this area nice and safe. And we're just going to build up for a while. A couple more Reavers. We might just keep the Reavers on defense duty because they are not maneuverable. Uh, we don't have Storm. Yeah, we'll get that. They are... Oh, that's Kerrigan. Oh, there she goes. Okay, the Reavers are the anti-Kerrigan tech. That is good to know. <laughs> it turns out when you have 4,000 HP, it doesn't matter when Reavers are here. Uh, 
Ooh. Uh, we can bring you up here, then get these Dragoons to try to help out the defense. We only have a single Storm, but we should be able to... Oh, we don't have Storm yet. We only have a single batch of 75 energy. Can't call that a Storm until we actually have the upgrade. <laughs> Yeah, Dragoons just are not great like this. Oh, come on. You gonna finish? Oh, quite a ways away. Well, this is not the end of the world. Oh. Wave number two is here. Nah, this is okay. Let's just keep getting our upgrades. Maybe we'll leave these up here. They are very aggressive on this mission. They really don't like us. We need to make a lot of pylons. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. There we go. Uh, you're going to defend up here. We have, let's see, probably like six Templar for storms, and then the rest can turn into Archons. Uh, no, they cannot. The others wish they could turn into Archons. Then we'll get the Kydaran Amulet upgrade. That'll be good for the future. Uh, is this good? I'm not even sure. Let's get one Reaver up here to help out. We're going to have to get a couple cannons up here. I guess we can afford a lot more Templar, can't we? I think we need more than eight gateways here. And then it might be time to go. Like, this is a pretty good army. We can start scouting around and figuring out if there's anything that needs to be destroyed. By that I mean, once we get past this many units, I have a hard time controlling everything, so... <laughs> you know, we're gonna go with this much. Oh, hello. Just building the base over there, alright. Whoa, whoa! Right after I left with my Templar. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's why we build Templar. <laughs> we didn't lose a unit. <laughs> oh, yup, that's, that's Templar. Oh, we need to... Here, you guys, just turn into one of these. Shield battery that up. Being attacked over here. Why don't we just send these up to the top, and then we're going to go with this. Blast all the eggs. You guys can come over this way as well. We're just gonna go. We're maxed out, so... I'm feeling pretty decent about things. Whoa. There she is, I hear her. Do I have a cannon? Uh oh. If only there was a cannon down here we could have brought her to. Oh gosh, I feel a little bit suspect about this now. We got her. The hallucination thing means she's gone. Alright, we're maxed out. I guess we're going to send these guys as well. We'll keep this and maybe these over here. And it is time to go. Kind of A, move the zealots and then focus on microing the Templar. That is a lot of mutas, actually. Here, bring all these back, see if we can stack them a little bit. Storm. Yup, yup. Wow. All right, we've dealt with the problem. These uh, Dragoons have finally figured out how to show up. Then we can go, whoa, that's a lot of Guardians being morphed. Uh, come on in. We can storm these. Perfect. Get on in, and then we want to go... Reinforcement zealots, everybody come up this way, and we just keep storming everything that's bad for the world. 
Oh, wow. Keep it going. Uh, let's see. You can storm this and then Archon merge. You have a storm over here. And we got one more for you. We can Archon merge. This is very, very close, but I think that we just barely have enough to break through them. We have a lot of money in the bank, so I can just keep producing. I'm no longer maxed. Those early storms were just devastating to them. We annihilated their mute flock really, really nicely, and now they're just trying to do what they can with a few reinforcements as we stream our reinforcements in, but we have more production than they do. Keep this going. I think we can bring the Reavers now. Oh, Kerrigan. Alright. Uh, she's invisible and we don't have any detection here because Observers are the worst unit in the game. Do we just wait it out? <laughs> I mean, uh, we gotta build an Observatory. My least favorite building. And then, I mean, she will run out eventually. Another group up here. Oh, there she is. Everybody attack Kerrigan. Let's see if we can get some Archon merges going. Oh, try to pull that guy back. Keep it up. Uh, you guys can attack as well. Just keep the forces going on in. We need plus three attack. And then we can start building a lot of observers and just bring them on over here. I killed my own Templar. I can't even see her HP. Uh... Okay, then we have to get a shuttle. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess we don't have to get a shuttle. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um. Okay, I messed that up at the end. <laughs> I think we were supposed to watch the fight, and it was AI controlled, but I thought I had to bring him over, because that's what you have to do in the normal thing. Uh, let's jump into the calling. Because the Dark Templar in this mission is Zaz being slain off screen by Zeratul. And you know what? I'm really excited for all the YouTube comments who are trying to be like, Grant, no, the Dark Templar are about Zaz being slain off screen. That didn't make it this far before complaining. So uh, this is your opportunity to go and delete those comments, guys. And let's jump into the calling. Without its master, Zaz's brood has run amok and even now threatens the Hive Cluster. Seraphrit, you must eradicate the rampaging brood and stem any further damage it might cause. I shall deal with the Protoss myself. Eradicate the other renegade Zerg. Do not lose your hatchery, lair, or hive and destroy the Seraphrit's brood. Okay. Interesting. If we focus on destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize these Zerg without too much trouble. Oh, I like that. I like that, throwing in a little bit of Duran there. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good use of voice line. I don't know if it's lore accurate at this point in time. However, it's very cool. Uh, let's take a look at what we got. So these are all, this is an interesting mission. Now while I'm taking a look at it, so they're going to be over here. Let's send our queen to Parasite and figure out what's going on. So is this a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight person free for all? Is that what's happening here? There's a bunch of feral broods, but they're not allied to me. Instead, it's like a free. It, wow. If this works the way that I'm feeling like it's working, 
This is really, really, really cool and an interesting idea. Okay, so we have vision of this area. Yep, they are built up very, very well already. Um, and it said to eradicate, let me just uh, reread it to make sure. Eradicate all the other renegade swarms. Destroy. Okay. Um, wow. What a fascinating way to do this mission. It's like a completely different mission. This isn't a reversed mission. This is just a different mission. And that's so awesome. That's really, really cool. I'm happy 115 with this mission. So let's just start parasiting things so we can get vision of all these people and start making our plans. Uh, buh -buh. An overlord or something. It's good enough. I, I kind of love this. Dude, okay, we so yeah, we gotta we gotta deal with this guy first. He's in a very annoying position. We have a greater spire, so getting guardian should be very easy. And then this guy's on a high ground as well. So, hmm, hmm. I guess what's gonna happen is this person is gonna attack the places and take their bases, and we're gonna attack these people and take their bases. And then it's going to be giant, like, map versus map, Zerg versus Zerg? Is that how it's going to play out? That's amazing. What a brilliant idea. Okay. So we definitely want to deal with this player and this player first. Then fortify the area. Maybe this as well. And then kind of fortify this and start pushing down this way, I think. They're probably going to go after the blue player first, if I had to make a guess. That seems like the most logical. Uh, let's check. We do not have lurkers, do we? No. So it looks like we are on just normal StarCraft 1 tech, once again. Which is okay. We have an Ultra, which is great. And do we have enough energy? Almost enough for another. I'm going to get so much use out of this Queen, because we have so many different factions that I want to spy on. And honestly, just the fact that the Queen has been made good is really exciting to me. Okay, so that player... Oh, oh, they fight each other! Oh, the the feral broods don't... Whoa, wait a moment. Yeah, it is truly a free-for-all. I, I kind of thought that they would chill out at home. And uh, it would be us clearing versus them clearing. But it is truly a free-for-all. That was yellow versus orange right there. This guy versus that guy. Dude. <laughs> How neat is this? I'm very excited to give this a go. Seems like the AI is being a bit aggressive with their pushing. This is blue from all the way over here. I don't know what he's doing. Where's my queen? Oh, here she is. Maybe we'll just uh, put this guy over here. He'll die eventually, but he'll help defend against something before he goes, and I don't have to keep him in the hockey then. Okay, we're getting plus two attack because we started with plus one. We start getting this. I think we're going to go guardians at the beginning. Now, it says don't lose the hatchery lair or hive, so does destroying the hatchery lair or hive of the opponent knock him out? Because that would be... That would be a way to do it, wouldn't it? Wait, let's, uh... Overlord Ventral Sacks. We might be able to annihilate this guy really quick. Which would be really good. If this works. If it doesn't work, we'll lose some Zerglings, which I don't... I don't really mind. It's just Zerglings. They are meant to be experimented with. Uh, we have plus one attack. We can get plus two attack. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it in time. But I think what we can do is just drop on this area. They shouldn't have vision of it. And then run like 24 Zerglings right on over and target this hive down. If they're plus two with Adrenal, it'll, <laughs> it'll be shockingly quick. The speed that we destroy them at. What is this player doing? I honestly cannot tell. I do appreciate that they patrol the Overlord, so it's worth using this ability. I think that's very neat. Whoa! I mean, if purple wants to eliminate them for me, I'll take it. This is going to be a Muta War, isn't it? Wow. What power? 
Oh, <laughs> sure. Well, let's go take a look at blue. I have a feeling that my idea that blue was going to be the first target was wrong. Cool. We got vision of here. There's nothing over here. <laughs> Actually, some of their stuff is bloody, so there probably was a fight. Could you not? I'm busy scouting what you're doing. Oh, they killed my vision. Well, now I don't know who's winning. Some of these zerglings over here. Guess we can use these as well. We can just unload this. Oh! Oh, he's dropping with my guy. That's good. That's really good, right? Unload. I might not be able to unload. Oh, I can. Okay, pull you back. They have nothing! Go get them. They have something. Go get them. One, two. All right, they had something. Uh, no, mute up, mute up. We can still just keep dealing damage to this. We got the ultra. Oh yeah, they're actually producing quite well. I don't think that's gonna work unless we try harder. I think we gotta get movement speed for our overlords if we wanna do drop stuff. So if we just uh, decide to, oh, they don't even have their spores alive anymore. Of course. So we can just take that down. The Ultra over here. Hopefully the Ultra does some tanking, and then we can grab the Mutas, target that guy down, get plus three attack. That's always a good sign when you're attacking and supply blocked. It means you're winning. I think I have Zerglings in a drop of somewhere. Yeah. Come on over. Oh, this must be full as well. Perfect. So Mutas are going to target that down. And one that's low, turn into a Guardian. Are you going to deactivate? No. Not at all. <laughs> it only works that way for me, apparently. Well, I tried to use context clues. Uh, it didn't work, but we are still going to beat them because they have no production now. All. Keep building up dudes. We're going to send all you over here. Queen's going to go this way, and let's just finish everything off. Are they grabbing all their stuff to drop over on yellow? Yeah, take whatever you have left and attack yellow for me, please. That would be that would make me so sad, and you don't want your destroyer to be happy. Okay, got a little bit of a look there. Part of this is I just want to know when they're going to die to... Well, someone just died. Mm. The thing is, we don't have perfect information, so I can't tell you who it is. I don't think we need these minerals. It's going to be mostly a gas game. So this many guys is more than enough for economy here. Two, three. Take all this down. My queen is still alive, thank goodness. Let's go check white. White be might be the one that has been blown up already. That seem that seems right. Spawn more overlords. And then hopefully we can deal with yellow next. This mission is awesome. There's like so many different ways we can approach things. I think I'm gonna leave like a hydra up here. 
Oh, that's a lot of guardians. Um, I have Mutas somewhere. Oh gosh, I morphed them into guardians. I have Mutas somewhere. It may be Brown that is dead. I mean, if so, uh, bu -bu -bu, get on in. Leave my spire alone. That's the part that I care about. Let's uh, head over to this side and try to get them to run away. There we go. Like that. They don't like being hit when they can't shoot back. Yeah, he's gone. So we can we can take this base. Some of these mutas on this side. Going after some of my guys. That's fine. We can always build more drones. This base is ready. This is mining. Good, good, good. We're going to get these guys in here. We'll leave the Hydra. We'll build a Spore to be his friend. We've got a couple more workers here. Just to turn into colonies. And we're going to unload. Oh gosh, we're still under siege. 16 kills, but they're not me. It was the player that they killed before. Oh, they're going to kill it. No. Here. Push them back. I don't want to lose that. Well, hopefully this puts him MIA for a bit. He's not going to be able to do a whole lot during this time because he spent so much on that push. Now we can unload, go over here. Do a little push on that side. I don't know my, why my queen is in this control group, but that's fine. Uh, you guys want to push this way as well. Let's go for yellow. It seems like the uh, player likes air. The orange player, the final boss. So we're going to play accordingly. Where, oh, where is the guy I'm looking for? Gosh, there's so much to do. You guys here, you guys get ferried up. Over here, you start as a couple spores. Unload, and then we're going to have to reload you guys. It looks like we lost the fight over here, but our guardians are doing kind of well. So spore, spore, spore. Mutas on this side, Mutas on this side, and... Alright. This is truly a fight of all time. I'm going to keep getting Zergling upgrades, because we're making a lot of use out of them. We're always going to be gas shy. So try to use minerals in the best way we can, which is colonies and, of course, Zerglings, depending on what we're trying to do. Guess we can saturate this a little bit more. Oh, pain. We got the Scourge. They know the tactics. Wings in again. I'm glad that it gives us a warning when a player is eliminated, by the way. That's really nice. Because I think I would have been caught off guard to the point of probably dying if, the, uh, if we didn't know. And we can still see this player is fine. This player is fine. Keep producing, keep sending the lings, and get that attack upgrade. We're going to be able to get Carapace very soon, which is going to be super exciting. Where's my queen? Here's my queen. Let's just keep uh, parasiting things. She's going to die doing this eventually. There's just so much stuff to do at this point that I can't protect her. But I think it's worth it to get that bit of intel. Particularly now when she doesn't have anything better to do. Got to convince the mod maker to put some command centers on the map. It's fine. Uh, looks like the anti-air has been mostly dealt with. Let's see if we can find an overlord in here somewhere. You know what? A drone's not... Oh, we didn't get it. Darn. A little bit of inertia there. Renegade Zerg has been destroyed. Good. I think that we are expanding faster than this uh, Cerebit player. This mission reminds me a lot of how Mindhawk makes his. 
where they're the same basic idea, but they have like a full mission design twist to it, and I love to see it. You can really, really feel that Mind Talk inspiration on this one. Ooh. <laughs> Wait. No, I parasited you. <laughs> Don't go. Don't die. You're important to me. You were my spotting. Let's get you guys here. This this way. I'm gonna get more hatches. And we're gonna go in with a giant mutiling force and hopefully take them out. What I kinda wanna do is wait for them to attack. Are they actually mining? Oh, dude, they're like legit normal people mining. That's crazy. I wonder if they have to actually macro in this mission, like, like the AI doesn't usually have to do. They they have to like spend money to make things. That'd be cool. I know that's like really minor sounding, but it kind of feels like it. They feel like a real player more so than a lot of the time. Uh, this did not build. That's an unfortunate, unfortunate truth. This is our gas geyser, though. Wonder how many lings we're gonna need. I think we need to, like, max. I kinda wanna try to kill this player next. Cause I have a feeling they're gonna be the biggest threat. So what if we're able to just blindside them? I know they're not human, but like, we can still do something that's so bad that it confuses them. Mutas here, get this rally over here, get some mutas. Muta, muta, muta. One, two, three, and then the rest are gonna mine from this space. So the faster that we kill people too, because if everybody is mining for real, then we could actually be really, really hurt if we take too long. That is an important thing to pay attention to because those minerals will just be gone. One of the reasons the game only mines one mineral per drone trip most of the time is because they don't want those to be mined out. They want you to, if you were slow, they don't want to punish you for it when you need the help. That's this player, okay, whatever. He's bad, <laughs> he needs to get good. Okay, we got another group of mutas. This is looking really empty. I think that they attacked someone. I think that it is time to send the Zerglings and they're gonna conga line because it's really hard to play this game. We're going this way. And then the Mutas are all going to help out their friends. You need to be on control group three. Oh, they're going right through blue, perfect. Maybe blue won't notice. Nope, blue noticed. But I think, I'm not seeing a whole lot of purple stuff here. Oh, this is annoying. Do what damage we can. If we can take out the early defenders, then the Zerglings will be incredible, even if they're just conga lining in. Zerglings, mutas, mutas. Uh, Zerglings, get you rallied over here. And it does look like we have enough to defeat them. Let's start going for their hatcheries so they can't reproduce. Uh, looks like all the Zerglings did die, unfortunately. Blue was just a pain in the butt. But yeah, the Parasite allowed us to identify when they sent a lot of their units out, so they just didn't have that much. I don't know how this is going. Pretty badly, actually. Let's just try to get our stuff rebuilt. Blue is going on a little bit of an adventure. That's fine. Rebuild. Wait, there's no other player over there. I was like, I wonder what player he's going to hit. Oh, wait, they're all dead except for me. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh... Okay, target these down. Come on over. Control group. Oh gosh. 
Zergling control groups are the worst thing ever. I love them. I love the Zerglings so much, but man, it is, uh, it is pain trying to get them all to go the same place at the same time. I know that the pros do like a fancy thing where they, uh, kind of put them in a line and then they grab and they grab, 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 grab if you're trying to go this way, for example. So I guess I'll try that. And maybe that'll work out for us. I want to, I want to strike him again. I think that it's time. I know that there's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Some of them are pathing this way. Which is what I want. Go, go, go. Leave blue alone. I'm not fast enough to do this. Oh, they're splitting up. Uh-oh. See if these guys can defend. You know what? You guys are... Hey, they got through. Perfect. Oh, they're building a lot of Scourge. The thing is, once you have enough Muto, Scourges actually die to the bounce. Which is insane. Hey, this base is alive. Great to see. Our forces are under attack. Wow, this base is strong. <laughs> it crushed us again. Ultras aren't even good against Zerglings. Oh. Okay, rebuild again. Uh, maybe we need to go after someone different because this is starting to run me out of cash. We can send a couple guys over here, this right here. Let's go after this guy and see what we can do. Yeah, this guy doesn't have that much in comparison. He's going to fall over real quick. It seems like everybody is just spamming Mass Muta, though. <laughs> Which is... It's ZVZ in a nutshell, but it makes it really hard to gain an advantage because there's that fundamental symmetry. And asymmetry tends to be where you can make stuff happen in StarCraft. Renegade Zerg has been destroyed. Thank goodness. Now we can grab you. Gonna be my backup 228 minerals just in case. Only 1,600 gas in that, which is unfortunately low. Ooh. Okay, it looks like blue is dying. And it looks like I am getting attacked. So, thank goodness once again for Parasite. Is Parasite the best ability in the game? It's basically map hacks, guys. Ow. <laughs> that was a jerk move. Who scourges an overlord? Okay, that must have been blue dying. So that means it is myself, purple, and white remaining. But he's not mining, and I think that matters. At least I hope it matters. I really want it to matter. <laughs> That's really where it, what it comes down to. You guys were not mining. That's not good. Wow, he gets aggressive now. Uh, you guys in here. Which control group are you? I don't think you have one. We have like 50 mutas. Maybe the zergling thing is uh, overrated at this point. Let's try ultras. Are you... Ex Oh, you have 3,000 left. That's beautiful. I thought you were going to run out soon. All right, 
keep uh, doing that. We'll get a couple workers for that base. Got to keep the income flowing. All right, we have 50 mutas and a zergling. A zergling has four kills. How do you do that? All ultralisks. Let's go in from this direction and see if we can target them down. Stop the production, stop the problem. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Why is he building 50 million ultralists? <laughs> I thought the AI was smart. Turns out... <laughs> turns out the Cerebrate is like a player and he just has a favorite unit type. Oh! Oh no, he does have a Spire. I thought he lost the Spire for a moment, that's why he was doing it. But no, he has one. Well, that'll be the last unit he ever made. Well played. Someone's over here. Why do I hear an Ultralisk fighting? Oh, that'd be it. I don't mind losing that base. Zergly, hold them off. Send your muta friend. Whoa! <laughs> they really do have a lot of ultras! I know that, like, people will go, uh, ultras against sky toss because you can just run under the carriers and void rays, but I don't think that that applies to ZBZ as well. Go try to save us, and... All of you guys, go try to save it. If we can save the base, it'd be really nice. It's worth whatever we pay. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Target this. It seems like the Cerebrate player is dead. Right? Maybe he's built something at Blue's base. Let's go after White next. I think that he's the only remaining player. Okay. He has nothing. <laughs> he probably had to fight against the Ultras. Uh oh. I mean, whatever. He doesn't have this base. He doesn't have this one. Renegade Zerg has been destroyed. And we did it! That was a good mission. That was really well designed. I enjoyed that quite a bit. What a really, really cool idea for a thing. That, <laughs> well done. Oh, that was awesome. All right, my friends, that is going to be the end for today. We defeated the Cerebrate's Brute Swarm, as well as Renegade Zerg, Renegade Zerg, Renegade Zerg, Renegade Zerg, Renegade Zerg, and Renegade Zerg. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.